So light interacts with electrons in matter. This can happen in two ways. Here's a very simple picture of a system where there are two energy levels available to an electron. This little single arrow here, or this half arrow, represents the electron in the ground energy level. As we move up, energy is increasing. So the excited energy level is at a higher energy than the ground energy level. And the difference in energy here we'll call delta E. Now we have a photon come along, symbolized by H nu with this squiggly arrow. We use H nu because that's a way to calculate the energy. If we have the resonance condition, where the energy of the photon, h nu, equals the difference in energy between the ground energy level and the excited energy level, we will see absorption of that photon. And the energy of the photon will promote the electron from the ground state up to the excited state. This leads to, again, assuming the resonance condition where h nu equals delta E, now our electron is promoted from the ground energy level to the excited energy level. So when the electron is in its lowest energy level, we call that the ground state, or GS. And when the electron is in an excited energy level, we call that an excited state, or ES. Now let's consider emission. Let's do a quick thought experiment. Imagine you're standing on the ground and you throw a tennis ball up into the air. At the highest point the tennis ball reaches, think of that as the excited energy level. Now the tennis ball does not remain in the excited state. What it's going to do is fall back down to the ground. When it does that, it loses potential energy. In the same way, the electron is going to fall from the excited energy level back to the ground energy level, and when it does that, it has to get rid of the energy somehow. One way for it to get rid of the energy is to emit a photon, H nu. So, This leads us back, worst arrow ever. This leads us back to having the electron in the ground energy level, or the ground state. Remember, the energy of the photon that is emitted equals h nu, and that equals the difference in energy between the excited energy level and the ground energy level. So photons tell us about electronic structure. Photons have color. The color depends on the energy, so this tells us about energy differences. in the states available to the electron. These images are called emission spectra. If we use heat or electricity to excite these different elements, we only see a very few different colors for each element. This tells us that each element has different energy levels available, and this gives us insight into how electrons behave. 